Thermoids, it is Crashmaster, and today we are going to be doing another unboxing. Yep, that's right. I'm officially an unboxing channel. This is no longer a gaming channel. Please, blah, blah, blah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Moids. I'm kidding. This is still a gaming channel. This is still a gaming channel. And Pokemon is a game. It started as a game, really, when you think about it, right? It's, I think it started when it was a game because it was a trading card game. And it was also the games before the anime. Because the games came out in like the 90s and maybe the 80s. And the anime didn't come out until the 2000s, right? Is that correct? Leave a comment if it is. Maybe I'll put something up there on the screen. I'm not sure. Usually these videos are just like recording sessions and that's it. That's the video. You get what you get. This isn't like my normal gaming stuff. But trust me, I am coming back. Hopefully in the summer. It's either June or July. Full force, more gaming videos, um, kind of, kind of. There might be some other projects I'm doing. I'm hoping to do certain gaming videos later in the year, honestly, Mo. It's like more, it, better quality content, as well as some other types of videos in the summer. I don't know. I haven't planned it all out, out yet because I'm a college student and the terms are and have the test and everything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of content. I know it's been about a month by the time this video at least comes out. These are just some quick videos to, to get, uh, to just have something on the channel to keep, like, you know, stuff going. So that way, hopefully, you guys stick around. I really appreciate it, Moids. I'm actually supposed to be packing for a trip. I'm leaving literally in the morning in less than 12 hours. And, yeah. So, what is this? Basically, it's a bonus video for all of you out there who's been sticking with me for quite some time. I just want to say thank you so much for the last few, uh, of the comments and the, and the and the views and appreciation for all of the last few videos I've done the last few months. Um, I promise this is still a gaming channel. I just have not been able to game a lot because my schedule is crap. My schedule is crap lately and I have not been able to focus and control my anxiety to, to like do both of these things but I am working on videos I am working on scripts I am working very very hard in the background um some days are better than others just how it goes but anyway we are here to open some cards so let's do that right now okay mods let's do it so today we're going to be opening some Pokemon cards Pokemon 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 P Pokeman Pokeman no anyway um yeah we're opening some Pokemon cards today and I also want to say, book cards have actually been kind of getting a resurgence in two ways, to my knowledge. Like, for one, Pokemon cards kind of boomed again in the last couple of years, based on like rarity and like getting like it like certified on like how how high quality it is and stuff like that. Um, I know one of the channels, uh, Foot of a Ferret, aka his other second channel, Fofi, does a lot of those. I actually really like his channel as well, both of those. So that's uh really cool. He also kind of inspired me to do this. Another one. Um, another one as well has been Sire Squawks, YouTuber Sire Squawks, who's a FNAF tuber, who's been making, uh, like, an online, I think. I don't know if he has, if he's really doing official, I don't know how official that will be in the regular card, physical cards-like domain, but basically he's been doing a FNAF trading card game online I know about, and that's something maybe I'll check out more in the future. Like, I've only checked out a, a little bit of it. I love his artwork, I love his theories, they're really, really great. But anyway, they sort of got me into the inspiration of like, like, uh, foot of, like, I, I just, foot of a fair slash Fofi with the actual physical cards, um, and the trading cards in general, like, whole thing with Cyrus Box. So that's been pretty cool. So we are going to open a few special ones. Now, I do have a ton of cards right here on this table I have, this prop up table, but I'm not going to show you them all because you're going to have to go watch the other videos and look at the title and stuff like that. So just letting you know, Mike, you might want to go, you might want to go check those out. But anyway, we're doing Pokemon cards for this video. So here we go. I also do have a ton, so we might be doing a few of these videos. Once again, not sure if they're going to be like once and then boom, because that's not probably the best thing for YouTube. I don't know. This is like a passionate hobby. This isn't a job. I'm not trying to make this a job, but whatever. So here we go. So I got actually a lot of these from a convention I went to. I don't remember exactly what it's called. One of the conventions I went to was called Too Many Games, and I did meet some... Some voice actors, some YouTubers, usually I like to travel, usually in the summer months, because other months are kind of just too difficult for me, based on holidays, friends, family, school, other kinds of work. It's just too complicated. Even now, it's like money, uh, like, um, 
Sometimes I just might not have the budget at the time. Sometimes it just doesn't work out because I know there's a VidCon it was this is this June. I was planning on going, but then I looked at it and I'm like, I don't think I can really go at this time and and afford it at the time. But yeah, whatever. We'll see what happens uh, in the later years. I hope. But anyway, I am. <laughs> I think I'm talking too much. <laughs> I, that's probably a bad thing. But here we go. We got some Pokemon cards. Uh, well, we got boxes. Like so. Back, back to the convention thing, before I got a little sidetracked. Basically, I picked up a few of these from, like, different stands and stuff like that. Lots of artwork. I thought about making a video like that, like, showing off some of the things I got at conventions. But it just never really happened at the right time. And then it kind of got sidetracked and just kind of lost. Maybe leave a comment, Martin, if you want to see, like, what some of the things... Because I actually got a lot of cool stuff. I got pictures with other, like, celebrities and stuff like that. I got lots of cool artwork and whatnot. And I even got some Pokemon cards. So... We got Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is the theme of these of this video right now. So you have, um, please forgive me if I butcher these names. I'm so sorry. You have Mari. You have Bede, I believe. You have Hop. That's like one of the only names that I'm, ho unless it's like Hop, <laughs> which is like, oh God, even that's really bad. And then you have Professor Gloria. So you have, um, I think it's, isn't there four? Well, no. I think it's these three characters in Sword and Shield. And then it's your trainer character, I believe. I believe these three are, like, littered through the game as, like, rivals or opponents, basically. At least I think so. Honestly, besides, like, my Pokemon knowledge pretty much is, like, like, uh, what is it? It's, like, black and white and all the way to x and y like there's something there as well i think it's like diamond and pearl i don't know it's like the years where the animation got bumped up a little bit where they tried to do a semi reboot and then it was like that portion of the anime all the way to x and y and then after x and y and slash xyz i basically stopped because i wasn't a fan of sun and moon i know there's pokemon journeys which does look really cool but honestly i just been so out of touch with the anime and pokemon and now ash's journey is officially like over and now you have like these new characters i'm like I'm just done. Maybe... I think there's a few episodes on, like, Netflix or something with the anime. I'll actually start opening these as I talk. That's probably a good idea. So, let's start with Hop, because I like this guy. He looks cool. He's got the blue hair. He's got a really cool outfit. Honestly, I feel like I could really get along with this guy right here, uh, Hop. So, each of these... Each of these little boxes has two Pokemon training card crown... Uh, TCG training card game, crown ZF booster packs, one sticker sheet, a Pokemon art card showing the art from this mini tin. You collect and combine all five. Which is just, which I actually read this a little bit ago. This is sad because I only have four, meaning that if I don't get any duplicates, I can't complete it unless I order it on Amazon or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. So, yeah. Basically, I got these at a convention, and now we're going to see what it's like. Ooh. Oh, okay. So here's the sticker I got right there. It's basically the artwork on the front, so that's pretty nice. It's actually very, very high detail. I actually like this. 2023. Then you have, I guess this is the artwork as well. Same exact one. Pretty nice nonetheless. Then you have, oh yeah, yeah. See, Max, you can actually see it's like grayscaled a little bit at the top. And then you can see like that top right there. And then there's the other one. So you have... Everyone, and I forget who that is. Is that supposed to be, like, Hop's big brother or something like that? That's, like, the champion of the region. I forget his name. Once again, the games I little, I have pretty much no knowledge of besides the anime counterparts. I have, basically, my Pokemon knowledge is sporadic. Let's just say it's sporadic. So, Wulu, 831. She Pokemon, height 2 feet. I don't think that's just No, 2 feet. Weight, 13.2 pounds. Really? I mean, it's like a mini sheep. Its curly fleece is such an effective cushion that this Pokemon could fall off a cliff and stand right back up at the bottom, unarmed. You collect all five cards and combine them into one big picture. All right, yep, so there you go, Mods. There's the, basically, like, the stats, if you want to call it that. You can see, I'm sorry, it's, like, not properly focusing. I guess that's just because of my face. But here we go. All right, so we got two packs. Let's open these bad boys up and let's see what we get. All right, so... Ooh, okay, so that's the Pokemon. I forget who that is. Honestly, Sword and Shield is something that I 
like if I was still a little bit more interested in Pokemon, I think I could have gone into because honestly, I really love the character designs and just like the, the way the Pokemon look and the concept of like Sword and Shield. But after Sword and Shield, I basically just fell off completely and I didn't even get into Sword and Shield. But let's see. So we have Redeem Your Rewards, Digital Rewards, May, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know what? I never really redeem these things. So if anybody wants, there. There's a code right there. There you go. All right, let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. So we got a Luxio. That's not bad. We got Luxio right there. Rapid Strike. You know, I'm going to put these... Uh, I'll put these on the side for now. Lost Vacuum. <laughs> lost Vacuum. If you put another card in your hand from the, in the Lost Zone, I have no idea what that's about. It, it literally looks like my mini vacuum I use. Oh my... What? I know they have, like, certain things like healing potions and, like, the stuff like that, but what the heck is a lost vacuum? Friends in Hisui. Hisui? Hisui? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Draw three cards. It's actually not bad, too. Yeah. That's from the... That's from the game I think I actually played a little bit on the channel of. Um, What's it called? Uh, Legends Arceus, I think, right? You got this energy. I think that's for the dark Pokemon. Once again, I haven't played with these cards in a while. I haven't used them in a while. We got Waylord. Pretty nice. A very big boy with some damn heavy impact. Is 180 damage. That's crazy. Uh, Krikentu? Krikitu? Um, 90. It's uh, it's actually very nice. Oh, but you got like this. You see like the, the, the flashiness of like the card, the texture of it. It's actually like a full art card too. This could actually this is actually really cool. And it's a grass type. Usually you think it wouldn't be, but that's because it looks like a dark type because it's like all like the artwork. It's very, very cool. I actually like this card. That could be a... I don't know how many of those I'll get. Um Oh, Cricketot. You actually get to um you can actually evolve it with the with the pack I got too. Nice. Trip over. <laughs> my attack is tripping over and damaging myself. Oof. Might want to evolve that pretty fast, just saying. Uh Ponyard? Ponyard, Reckless Charge, right there. It's a metal type. Pretty cool. Uh, Yanma, 70, with Cutting Wind, right there. Also, just to say more, it's just to let you all know. Actually, I'll, I'll let you I'll let you know after I finish this, because I only have two more left. Amolga, 70, a.k.a. Pikachu replacement number 257 with Thundershock. Because let's be honest, anytime you have a cute little electric Pokemon that doesn't really evolve or do much, it's literally like, oh yeah, this is this region's Pikachu, I guess. Let's be honest. You have like the squirrel one, the little blue white squirrel one. You have Dedene, which was like the, the Kalos region one. You have Amolga right here. Like, <laughs> let's be honest, Lloyds. Can we just be honest and say straight up? And then the final one, Love Disc. Water for 70 health as well. Actually, very, uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice art. It's not bad. Just, like, in the water, on a beach, probably, or just in the ocean. Emotional draw. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw five cards. Okay, not bad. All right. That was the first pack. Now on to the second one. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get through all these, honestly, even though I showed them. So, let's see. All right. So, real quick. Um, with the games, I don't really have much knowledge on any of them. I play like a couple of the older games and maybe one or two of the newer ones, but I just never really got into it. Into it. Um, the anime, I have a lot more experience from the original series, like the first series and season, all the way to X and Y. After that, little bits and pieces. Journeys was something I thought about getting into, and the new one, maybe I'll try. I'm not really sure, much. So leave a comment. Um, let me know. I want to have like a discussion with your like Pokemon history. Do you like it? Like, what's your thoughts on it? Is the new stuff good? Should I check out, should I restart fresh from scratch and just go with, like, the new female lead and, and like, the other lead on um, the male lead? Should I just, I don't know. Let me know. Because with the games, I don't have a lot of experience. The anime, I favor black and white, and I forget what's the one in the middle. It's black and white, XY slash XYZ. Those are my two favorites. I love, um, I love Silent and, um, um, as well... Uh, who is like a Pokemon connoisseur, I think he was. Um, I like Serena. I like uh, Clement, Bonnie. I just love XY and XYZ so much. It was always a little awkward for me to just watch Serena with her crush on Ash a little bit. Because I'm like, oh, this is awkward. This is giving me like weird vibes right now. Not like bad vibes. I'm like, Ugh, this is just a little uncomfortable watching this, watching him just be so dense. Ash is so dense. He's always so dense. That's just his trademark. But, all right, here we go. 
we have how do you how do you do that scrap scrap from like the pokemon rap scrap i like you some past right wool bat zoo bat crow bat go bat zoo bat it's like that huge pokemon rap made a while back uh scrap with uh 60 uh, hp and it's a dark type it's got tackle and melt a little weird for uh uh like a water kind of kind of it's like a like a, a seahorse almost it almost reminds me of like a seahorse don't really know how but all right um helioptile once again a kind of another not it's a little bit different based on the eyes and like the way it's designed but it's almost like another pikachu ripoff not literally not literally i would consider helioptile probably its own thing helioptile with 70 it's electric there you go got static shock and rear kick wooloo um normal type what, what's that type again i'm just gonna say normal rolling rollout with a uh, 30 times uh let's see we got shinx right here 60 hp electric shinx is actually one of my favorite pokemon electric one as well as um what's it called ah i forget i forget and once again clement actually owns the final form final evolve version of shinx which is um luxray luxray I haven't just thought of Pokemon for so long, so I have to, like, remember it all. But, honestly, um, Luxray is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just such a really cool, lion-esque, electric Pokemon look to it. It's just so cool. Panchum, another one right there, 70. Uh, it's got Chop, and it's a physical or strength type, I believe. Ooh. I don't know where this Pokemon's from, what game or series he's from. Or, she, I don't know, it's a Pokemon. It's from Zorude. 120 grass it's got it, it's pretty strong and tough looking honestly it's giving me like malamar malamar vibes for many of you who know what that pokemon is like i think malamar's a pretty cool one but like this is giving me like really kind of strong ominous creepy vibes it's kind of interesting oh okay so wooloo now we can evolve it to double right here 120 health pretty good um with some pretty strong attacks overhead throw rolling dash so that's pretty nice we got an electrical energy, very nice, very shocking, if you will, not really, that was terrible, I'm sorry, and Krokorok, Krokorok, right there, 90, it's a dark, it's got bite and dredge up, Lunatone, okay, pretty cool Pokemon, because uh, I actually do like astronomy, so having ones like Soul Rock and Lunatone are actually kind of cool, in my opinion, it's a psychic type, it's got Cycle Draw and Moon Kinesis, very interesting, Moon Kinesis, this attack does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay, that's interesting. I guess it makes sense. Oh, oh, right! I actually got Soul Rock! Wow, I was just mentioning Soul Rock too! Oh, that's cool. Let's try that trick. Maybe if I mention a Pokemon just before, like, the last one, maybe I'll get it. I don't know. Well, there we go. We got Lunatone and we got Soul Rock. They both have the exact same. They're not the exact same type. This one's, uh, like, uh, this one's, like, strain for, like, physical. This one is psychic. But they both have the same amount of HP. Very interesting. And this one has Spinning Attack, which is just 50. And Sun Energy as well, an ability it has. So that's pretty cool. Here's another um, Redeem Reward thing for anybody out there who wants it. There you go. BMZ, blah, blah, blah. There we go. All right. So that was pretty cool. So that was the Hop one. So now we're going to continue on and move on. And we are going to go to... Let's go to... Mari, let's go to Mari. Honestly, the 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 little goth, the little goth chick. <laughs> but I'm gonna call her that, the little goth chick. That's probably real, probably not a good idea. Oh, whatever. All right, here we go. So we got Mari right there, and uh, what's the what's the little Pokemon? The other kind of Pikachu staying in right there. Honestly, it's a very cute one. I'm sorry. I I swear I know about Pokemon. I just have not thought about it for so long. So I can't remember everyone at the time maybe maybe we'll get that pokemon maybe i i hope so it's a very cute one so we got another sticker very nice all right put this right here and we have like an art card right there more peko that's what it's called it's on the back 877 oh my god isn't there over a thousand by now i think so not to mention you have like a pokemon that can evolve to like at least two time at least two more times from the base like some of them then you have mega evolution then you have like other forms and other like regional variants i swear if they don't come up with new pokemon they could just come up with like 50 vari variations of like the one itself but there we go there's the art right there very nice very nice with the stream in the cottage like it a lot and so let's see so more peko it's one foot 
two-sided Pokemon. I guess that makes sense, like the darker and the lighter side, I guess. 6.6 .6 pounds. Wow, I could drop kick this like a soccer ball. Not that I would, it's too cute. As it eats the seeds stored up in its pocket-like pouches, this Pokemon is not just satisfying its constant hunger. It's also generating electricity. That's kind of cool. It actually kind of works that like you have electricity in your body, like bioelectricity, because you need that for like your brain and like, you know, and stuff like that, like electrolytes and blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like uh, electric eels, actually. It's, it's kind of cool. It's, it's one of the more realistic Pokemons, I guess, in a way. Especially since I actually have a fascinate, uh, fascination with electricity, personally. I actually really like it. It's an interesting topic because I'm a nerd. I'm a science nerd. <laughs> Forgive me. But here we go. Okay, so just like the just like the previous packs, which is Crown Zenith, it's the same exact packaging. So here we go. We're gonna go into these and let's see what we get, months. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. So here's another redeem thing. Anybody who wants it, there you go. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get. Another Lunatone. All right. Not bad. Another Soul Rock. Okay, well, we got a lot. Imagine we get, like, multiple doubles with this one, Molly. That'd be interesting. Huh. A rare candy. It actually looks very nice, too. Like, this blue candy. I'd eat that. I'd eat that, in a way. Does that mean I'll, I'll get stronger? Oh, no, but that would be, like, the flesh of humans, right? Because that's one of the, the darker things, maybe, in Rare Candies, especially with, like, Pokemon Go, which is one of the only Pokemon games I've been playing for literally years on my phone. Literally still updating, literally still playing it. It's like, isn't it a thing where it's, like, ground, ground up Pokemon, maybe, technically? I don't know if that's confirmed in-universe or not, if that's just a popular headcanon or theory, but that's dark. It's almost like Pokemon cannibalism. Ugh. Oh, God. Here we go. We got the psychic energy right there. Very, very nice. Especially with, like, the, the sparkly. It almost reminds you like, a, a galaxy or a black hole. Ooh, very nice. Oh, this is interesting. We have Snorlax. Very, very good damage. Very high health. And you see much. It's, like, um, not even, like, normal artwork. It's got, like, a... It's got, like, a sort of, like, um, actual picture. Like, someone took a picture of, like, a... What is that? Like, a crochet? Like, a, a knitted Snorlax? Like, like a, a made hill? Right there, please focus, please focus. I want I want this beautiful card to be seen. I want this beautiful card to be seen. That's about as good as you could uh, get, Mites, but right there, that's actually very nice. Uh, very interesting card right there. <gasps> oh, this is cool. I don't even know who this Pokemon is, Mites, but this is cool. Radiant Eternatus. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I am, because it looks like I could kill me. Ugh. Radiant Eternatus. 170 health dragon type fully shiny shimmering diamond plate card right here climactic gate and power beam for 200 this could probably one shot so many pokemon if they're not like le legendary even like the highly evolved versions this is such a cool card you can't have more than one radiant in your po pokemon in your deck though po radiant pokemon rule interesting you can actually see Moist. Look at this on the top left. If you look really close at the top, at the top left, well, top, uh, the top right for, for you. Well, no, it is for me, I guess. Um, either way, it's got, like, the slash marks, like, kind of, like, slash marks where, like, the, the, the dragon symbol is. This is such a unique design. This doesn't even look like a Pokemon. This looks like it would be in, like, something like Yu-Gi-Oh! or something interesting. I don't know what series that's Pokemon's from, Mites. Leave a comment if you want. I, I might look into it myself, but that's a really cool one. Radiant Eternatus. That just sounds like a god-level Pokemon for real. All right. And we just went from a super high to... Like, not literally. We got Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff. I don't know. How do I go from this to that? Uh, but seriously, that is such a cool one. But rock, okay, let's let's move on. We got Rock Ruff. Then we have Tangela, Terry the Tangela. For anybody who remembers what that was, uh, who that was, Tangela, right there. Eighty health. That's actually not too bad. Uh, beat ten. Vime Whip sixty. We have Ball Ball Toy. Is is that what that Pokemon's name is? I guess so. 60 health, 20, not the best, but uh, it could be it could be much worse. Ball toy, it's a pretty interesting design right there. We have a Galarian Meowth, which I actually do find this. I actually prefer the Galarian Meowth. Honestly, out of the... There's like a shiny... Oop, 
What did I? Oh, it's the it's the tin. Whatever. It's like isn't there like a shiny meowth? And the like I think I prefer the shiny and the Galarian meowth better than the regular meowth. Like don't get me wrong, I know meowth is a big character in the anime. And I like that too. But overall, I think I prefer the other ones because this one is just like so feral. It's just so like puffy, <laughs> puffier, which I guess is kind of cute right there, like a puffy cat. So it's a metal type. And it does fasten claws as well. Flip a coin if heads this attack does 20 more damage. Okay, so it's not the strongest, but you know, it's cute. So that, that's something. Energy retrieval. Put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Interesting. Never seen that before. So we're getting, we're actually seeing a lot of cards. Like some of these Pokemon I do know. Um, I haven't seen these cards because I guess I just haven't opened a bunch of Sword and Shield ones. The, the latest generation I might have opened was XY, maybe, really, because I just didn't really get that many cards until, like, a long time later. Here we go. Another one, Crown Zenith. Let's open this last... Well, let's, well maybe not the last one. We'll see, because uh, the video is getting a little longer than expected. My bad. All right. Here we go. Once again, redeem the rewards. Redeem it for me, people, because I don't do it ever. I really don't care about them. I think I downloaded it on my old PC, the actual game online, but I, I, I don't think I really did much with it. I don't know. I'm honestly one of those people who, like, prefers to write rather than type unless it's necessary. So I, I think I'm just a little more old-fashioned this way where it's like, you know, I, I want to collect the cards and stuff like that. Um, let me put that right there. Let me get the uh, Fallen Tin. So this is still from, uh, from Mari or Marie, however you want to say it. I say Mari. Rescue Carrier. Put up the two Pokemon... Each with 90 health or less from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, interesting. Pretty cool. Interesting concept, actually. That could be a pretty uh, useful card. Electric, right there. 80 and 80 HP. It's an electric type. Static shot and ad hoc, ad hoc shock. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, and it evolves from Tynamo. Okay, interesting. That's actually uh, pretty good. Like, the, the basic attack's not much, but 30 is better than 10 or 20, I guess. Digging Duo. No idea who these characters are. Anybody know who these are? Or maybe they're just, like, custom for this? Why are they just, like, the Ninja Turtles? With, like, that, like, the, the abs... Like, kind of like the, the pecs of, like, the, the Ninja Turtles with, like, the shells. Like, the different scutes or pieces of the shell. I don't know. Anybody know who these are? I mean, they look nice. I don't know who they are. I've never seen them before in my life. Um, we have a Metal Energy. Very interesting. This, this, honestly, this look with, like, the, the kind of, like, galactic-esque, I guess, fairy dust or, like, sparkles, like, star dust. I actually really like it. Actually, very, very nice. One of my favorite designs of the energies, because there's been a lot. Ooh! Moites, we got another cool one! EVV! Oh, look at the oh, look at that shy. Look at that art. 200 HP for an Eevee! Holy crap! Tackle 30 V Brave 80 Plus. If your uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, this attack does 80 more damage. So if, it's, if, you're, if you're using this against another V, that's 160 damage with 200 HP from my EV mines from the standard base EV. This is an awesome card. I might need to add this to one of my decks because this is awesome. Oh my god, I'm so hype. All right, look, please get the hype train going. Okay, kind of, kind of. We got a uh, another kind of shiny ish ish uh, shiny ish card. It's a little harder to see in mice, but you can see, like, the, the leaf pattern print on it. Whoa, Yan Mega. 130 HP, 160 damage for Jet Wing. Uh, pretty cool sounding attack, Jet Wing. And Shoot Through. Interesting. But you need uh, a Yanma, and it, it involves from a Yanma. So if you want this kind of strong uh, grass type... Actually, I think in Pokemon Go, it's a bug type, because it does look like a bug. But, you know, grass is close enough. Um... I gotta say, pretty good card once again. So let's see, can we keep this going? Can we keep this going? Grubbin. We got Grubbin. <laughs> uh, 70 HP, Grass type, Energize, Surprise Attack. Flip a coin, if Tails, this attack does nothing. <laughs> wow. Okay, what's uh, Energize? Is that at least good? Attach a uh, Electric Energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. This might go in the extra pile. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got Scrap! We got Scrap! <laughs> I'm not gonna sing it again. I wish I could. 
Um, 60 HP and it's dark tackle and melt. I don't know how you melt things if you're underwater, but whatever. Although, actually, looking at the artwork again. Ooh, this actually looks really interesting. I never looked at the artwork before properly. I'm so sorry. I feel embarrassed about that. You can see like that kind of really rainbowish background, sort of. And it actually is looking not at the like the, the like, like at you. It's like really looking at something else. That's a very actually very nice looking card. I'm sorry I didn't notice that artwork. Usually I'm better at that. I'm usually I'm better than that. Helioptile once again, 70 electric stack shock rear kick. Uh, a different Wulu, I, I believe. I think that's a different Wulu. 70 on uh, the normal, and then rolling rollout. Actually, that might be the same, right? Is it? I don't think... No, 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 it's not. Wait. Uh, yep, it is. It, it is. I just checked the pile. And here's the last card. Hey! Shinx! Okay, it's the same Shinx, but hey, Shinx nonetheless. I like Shinx. Thunder Jolt right there. Uh, the Pokemon also does ton damage to itself. How do you do 10... How do you do 10 damage to yourself? You can't handle your power like an Electro and you're going to explode almost, but you just like... Uh, like uh, <laughs> I don't know. Shanks, buddy, I love you. You got a crap attack. I'm sorry. You got a crappy attack. But okay. I think that's going to be it for now, Marts. I think that's going to be it for now. I could go a little bit longer, but I don't want to make the video too, too long. But... Let me know, Mines. Leave a comment. Would you like to see more of these? Hopefully you do, because there's probably going to be another one or two <laughs> afterwards. I'm sorry. I just really want to open these things and just, like, you know, upload something. Since I can't do gaming videos quite just yet. Please hold on. I'm very, very sorry. But anyways, Mines, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to just crash into both those buttons. Just crash into the subscribe and like button. Super, super fast. Super, super easy. Just wear a helmet and stay safe. And I will see you all later. Let them on.